here are 10 things that you can do that if done consistently will be a complete game changer for your sleep. Tip number one, you wanna wake up around the same time every single day. Whether it's a weekday or a weekend, it doesn't matter. When we have wide fluctuations of when we wake up, that confuses our circadian system and it makes us feel groggy in the morning time. Tip number two, you wanna get a lot of sunlight for 15 to 30 minutes every morning. Ideally, you want that to be without any kind of a window or any kind of a barrier. You don't wanna wear sunglasses first thing in the morning. Bright sunlight regulates our circadian system and switches the processes of nighttime now to daytime. Sunlight in the morning actually inhibits our body's natural melatonin production that is the hormone for sleep. So having adequate sunlight in the morning is extremely important. Number three, you wanna stay awake during the day. Try avoiding naps if you can. So if we think about it, if you're an eight hour sleeper, that means you have to be awake for about 16 hours during the day to be able to consume eight hours of sleep at nighttime. So staying awake during the day, trying to avoid naps if you can will help you improve your sleep at nighttime. If you can't avoid it and you really have to take a nap, try to make sure it's short, less than 30 minutes. If you feel excessively sleepy during the day, that can sometimes be a clue that something is wrong with your sleep at nighttime and that's why you're feeling sleepy during the day. Tip number four, minimize blue light exposure as much as you can for at least one hour before bed. Tip number five, stay active between noon and 3 p.m. Around this time, there's a physiologic dip in our level of alertness that happens and by staying active, we can sort of push through that. Tip number six, avoid a large lunch around noon. A large lunch stacked on top of this physiologic dip in our level of alertness is only a setup to make us feel more tired and groggy. Tip number seven, exercising is so healthy for our sleep, but the caveat is it needs to happen at least four hours before our habitual sleep time. Exercising wakes us up. It increases our level of alertness. So you don't wanna do it too close to bedtime. Tip number eight, avoid having caffeine six to eight hours before bed. Caffeine has a half-life of like six hours. If it stays in your system, it's only gonna disrupt your sleep at nighttime. Tip number nine, have dinner at least two hours before your habitual bedtime. Sooner is probably a little bit better, but given how busy everyone is, that can be challenging. So at least two hours is what's recommended. So tip number 10, start dimming the lights in your home about one hour before your habitual bedtime. This signals our brain to switch from the processes of daytime and now to shift into the processes of nighttime, sleep being one of them. I hope you have good sleep. My name is Sahil Chopra. Follow me for more tips.